Hi, I'm Andrew Grecki, physical therapist at Superior Physical Therapy. We are the shoulder pain experts. And I'm here today to talk to you about a 30 second self test that you can do at home to determine where your shoulder pain is coming from. Let me ask you this, does your shoulder hurt at nighttime when you're laying on your shoulder? Does your shoulder hurt when you lift over your head? Does it hurt when you reach behind your back? Are you having a difficult time washing your hair or maybe putting on or taking off a bra? If so, this 30 second self test is going to be perfect for you. So it can help you determine where your shoulder pain is coming from and whether or not physical therapy can help you. Before I show you the 30 second self test for shoulder pain, I just wanted to talk about the most, the three most common conditions that we see as physical therapists regarding the shoulder. This first image here shows in the shoulder you have a bursa um, and you have the rotator cuff tendons that come under this area called the coracoacromial ligament and the acromion process. And that area uh, here shows inflammation of the tendon or the rotator cuff tendon. So we would call that um, shoulder tendonitis. In this image, this shows uh, the second most common thing we see, which is called a rotator cuff tear. Now there is multiple grades of tearing. Um, a complete tear would be a surgical situation, but all other tears would be a physical therapy situation here where you can see that the tendon where it attaches to the bone does get torn partially. And finally in this image, this is designed to show you that in that region where the rotator cuff sits, there is this thing called a bursa, which is a fluid filled sac, which we normally have for lubrication. But in this case, if the space is too small, that bursa can get inflamed and they call that shoulder bursitis. We're gonna show you the 30 second self test for shoulder impingement. One of the most common reasons why somebody has shoulder pain. Uh, we're gonna use my lovely wife Erin here as an example and we're gonna pretend like her left shoulder is painful and she has impingement syndrome. Uh, very easy self test you can do in the safety and security of your own home. You're gonna take the left arm, you're gonna turn that thumb down towards the ground and you're just gonna simply reach across the body, okay? Reach across the body. If you get pain when you reach across the body, in the front of the shoulder here, that's a sign uh, of shoulder impingement. Uh, the second test I'm going to show you requires somebody to help you, but it's a way for you to uh, determine where the source of your impingement is coming from. So one of the most common sources of shoulder impingement is actually a shoulder blade or a scapula that is stiff. The, the scapula has 21 muscles that attach to it, uh, so a lot can go wrong. Uh, when somebody has shoulder impingement, uh, it's very common for when they lift the arm up in the air that when they get to about right there, there's pain in the front of the shoulder. And so as Erin does this motion, I'm going to sneak behind her here and grab the shoulder blade and just try to assist it. And if I rotate the shoulder blade like this and the pain in the front of the shoulder goes away, that is a very strong indicator that the shoulder blade is the source of the shoulder pain. Well, now that you've tried our 30 second self test for shoulder pain, hopefully you have a better understanding of where your shoulder pain is coming from. Again, if you're having pain in your shoulder when you lay down at night, when you reach above your head, when you reach to scratch your back, you shouldn't have to live with those issues. Physical therapy can absolutely help you with your shoulder pain. We offer a true solution that avoids surgeries, medications and injections and it allows the body to naturally heal. So if you're interested today in meeting one of our shoulder pain specialists at Superior Physical Therapy, give us a call 231-944-6541 or send me an email personally if you have any questions or if I can help you in any way. My personal email address is andrewg at thesuperiortherapy.com and I would love to speak with you and see if we can help you.